Mm. Oh my God, hey fellas. Um, if it, if it, the video quality is a bit lower and you obviously, I'm in a different location. Um, I went to a Halloween party last night and that's why I have this shit on my eyes. Um, no, I'm not, you know, I don't wear fucking makeup. I know people are going to be like, oh my God, you're wearing fucking makeup. No, I don't wear makeup. Um, but I went to a Halloween party, a little hungover. Um, so I'm st I still want to make the video though. I did watch the game while simultaneously hugging the toilet. So, um, I do want to talk about it because it was a good fucking game. Uh, the Saints won 38 to 27 uh, against the Indianapolis Colts, and the Indi like the Colts aren't like just like some under like dog shit team. Like, like they're actually feisty as fuck, and they fight for in every game. Like, they're it's always close. So, shout out to the Colts. Shout out to the Colts fans. You guys played a good fucking game. That shit was awesome. Um, the Saints came out uh, that we were looking pretty rough. We were down 17 to seven, I believe, at one point. Um, and we did something that we haven't been able to do all year, and that was score, come back, and win the game. So I really liked a lot of the play calling. Um, they said that this week during, like, preparation for this game, they were focusing a lot on fucking communication. And we went back to a lot of old plays that used to work for us um, with the play calling. Um, that's why you've seen so much Taysom Hill involvement. You've seen shots. We played less conservative. We played just with more confidence. And that is the difference maker in this game between this one and all the other ones. The Saints realistically could have a 7-1 and one record right now. But we're 4-4 four and four because we blew it against the Texans. We blew it against the Packers. We blew it against the fucking uh, Jaguars last week. We just haven't really figured it out. And I think today was a big step into doing so. Derek Carr played a highly efficient game. This is the best game from Derek Carr so far this season. He went 19 for 27 with 310 yards and two touchdowns with some beautiful deep shots to Rashid Shaheed. Bro, Rashid Shaheed was on some different shit today. Hold up, I got a little pen. I'm gonna fucking, oh yeah, I'm gonna scroll that bitch down. Rashid Shaheed had three receptions for 153 yards and a tutty, bro. It was like, it was so beautiful, bro. I like that is exactly how Rashid Shahid needs to be used. He played an absolutely fantastic game. Our leading rusher today, Taysom Hill, uh, he had nine carries for 63 yards and two rushing touchdowns. A lot of our touchdowns came on the ground. I mean, they were a fuck ton. 38 points, dude. Holy shit. Taysom Hill had two rushing touchdowns. Alvin Kamara had himself a pretty good game. 17 carries for 59 yards, a rushing touchdown of his own, which you love to see that, bro. Um, I'm just really impressed with how the offense played as a whole. Uh, Taysom Hill even threw some passes. He was one for two with 44 yards on that jump ball to Rashid Shaheed. Yeah, it was ugly. I'm not going to lie. And yeah, it was probably not the best decision, but you have to trust your playmakers sometimes and Rashid Shaheed made the play. So that was awesome to see. Jamal Williams was also extremely efficient on the ground. I wish he got more carries. He had uh, six carries for 30 yards with a 5.0 average. He just runs so hard. Like he, he is picking up those extra couple of yards and that's why he's so good. Um, Michael Thomas had himself a good game. Four receptions for 68 yards. I know I know he was like added to the injury report with like his illness or whatever, that whole stomach bug that was going around the facility. Weird shit, but you know, he played. He had a pretty good game. Alvin Kamara had four receptions for 51 yards and a tutty. Um, Alvin Kamara, two touchdowns today. Absolutely amazing. Him and Taysom Hill and Derek Carr were in, and Rashid Shaheed, those are the four offensive players that just were nutty today that were absolutely killing it. Chris Olave and Michael Thomas did their thing, but they weren't the, the main part of this offense, which makes me happy because if you can score with so many different players and you have different people to rely on every single week, it's like you never know and what, what's gonna happen. And it makes that, that much harder to game plan to play against this team. Pete Carmichael looked like he actually had somewhat of an idea what was going on today. Um, he was calling some really nice plays. The offense was staying on the field, putting together good drives, 
we were hammering it, the ball into the end zone instead of just, mm, let me uh, throw four verticals five times. Uh, fuck it, let's do that. Ridiculous. Um, great job by Pete Carmichael today. Uh, he gets my praise for once. Carl Granderson, absolutely disgusting, dude. He's fucking nasty. He is literally so foul, bro. He had a sack today, but he was all over the place. He was causing so much pressure. He was wrecking, wrecking, wrecking. Cameron Jordan also, just every two seconds, the pocket was collapsing on Gardner Minshew. Um, Paul Sanadibo had a pick. There were, there were a couple dropped interceptions. The defense was allowing a lot of big chunk plays, um, like really big chunk plays. Um, so I, hopefully that's something that doesn't continue. But as long as the offense is able to go out there and score to alleviate some of that pressure off of the defense like they did today, then it shouldn't be that big of an issue. They'll be able to clean that up. Uh, so, yeah, great game by the New Orleans Saints. This is the type of football we all expected, um, and this is the type of football that we need to expect moving forward because anything less than cohesiveness with a roster this good is very underwhelming and disappointing and should not happen. I trust and believe that these motherfuckers have finally gotten their head out of their ass, and we play the Bears next week. Um, they don't have Justin Fields, so that should be a game where we're able to, you know, further develop our identity. And then we play um, the Vikings, who I, I don't know the update on Kirk Cousins, but I think he, I believe, I saw that he was carted off or some shit or was on a cart, something that had to do with a cart in today's game. He might not even play. Um, and then you have the, the, uh, the bye, and then you play the Falcons afterwards. We are tied for number one in the division. These next few games are going to be pivotal. We have to win them or we will not be able to secure a playoff spot. So I'm comfortable where we're at. I'm happy because while the Bucks just fell off their high horse, um, the Falcons just got tucked to sleep by the Titans, you're like, okay, so the Saints are the ones that are on the up and up right now and the others are kind of being exposed a little bit. So. It's good looks. Hopefully we can keep this up. I don't want to, I, I want another win after a win. We, for too many weeks in a row, we've won, lost, won, lost, won. I, I need two back-to-back -back wins, like how we started the season. So hopefully against Chicago, we get that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you boys stopping by. Sorry for the lower quality, but I still wanted to post something. Um, and I will see you fellas in the next one. Adios. By the way, if you have any Tylenol, bruh, can you, like, spot me one of them shits? My head hurts really bad. Thank you.